For Ty Lawson, if ever there was a time to seize the moment, it is now. In his third year with the Denver Nuggets, Lawson is expected to guide the ship. Gone is Chauncey Billups, traded away is Raymond Felton. From any seat at Pepsi Center, it appears as if Lawson will be the man leading the charge for the Nuggets. In a condensed season, Lawson may be in fact the perfect fit for a team that plans on running its opponents into the ground. Playing at one mile above sea level, George Carl will look to Lawson to quicken the pace, something that Lawson's more than qualified to do. After a summer spent in Lithuania, Lawson's excited to be back. And on the eve of a new basketball season, Mile High Sports columnist Robin Carlin was excited to catch up with Lawson, one of the fastest nuggets, for this installment of the Mile High Interview. This segment of Mile High Sports TV is brought to you by Taco Bell. Hey, sports fans, who wants tacos? You know, a lot of Nuggets fans feel like this is now your team. You know, you're the face of the team. You're the player that's going to be the next big star. You're the point guard that's going to lead them on the floor. What do you think about all that? And and what, what do you think about that pressure? Do you like it? I like it. You know, I've been waiting for it, you know, since I got to the NBA. I mean, uh, who doesn't want to be the people that everybody looks to and things like that? So, you know, I'm, I'm ready to take I've been practicing all summer, all year, all my life for this point, so I'm ready for it. This team is built very differently than previous Nuggets teams. What's good about that and, you know, on the other side, what's challenging about it? Uh, right now we're just young, so that's probably the most challenging thing. We gotta go back and teach them every little thing from pick and rolls to uh, help defense. I mean, that's the most challenging thing, but the, it's fun. You know, uh, we're all young, we're all going through this together, so, you know, um, it's gonna be an exciting season and uh, I can't wait for it. As you're developing into the player that you want to be, who are some other guys in the league that you really want to model your game after? Um, I've been looking at a lot of Chris Paul's tapes because, I mean, he's an unbelievable, unbelievable guard. And uh, who else I've been looking at? Uh, Derrick Rose and um, who else? What, Russell Westbrook. I mean, I've been looking at their tapes, see the things they're doing. Cause they're, young, they're young guards that came up in the league and are uh, all-stars. So that's the main thing I've been modeling. Not modeling, but just taking little things from their game. Despite the fact that Lawson is only in his third year as a pro, he learned a great deal about leadership from a former Denver Nugget, Chauncey Billups. That's probably one of the coolest dudes I met in the NBA. You know, uh, just from basketball-wise, inches off the court. You know, he's a funny guy, real sarcastic. Like, that's one of the uh, top five players I wanted to meet when I came to the league. So, you know, to be with him, playing with him, I mean, uh, it was unbelievable. He taught me a lot of things and uh, helped me grow. So I thank him for that. What's the most important thing he taught you? Most important thing he taught me was, he told me my first guy in the league, he was like, do what you did to get here. Don't start, don't come to the league and start changing the things you've done because uh, that's what got you drafted. So that's the main thing that I just kept doing and uh, keep thinking about when I'm playing. Give us a, you know, behind the scenes story about Chauncey, you know, perhaps the time when he was really p playing that big brother role. Um, probably just when we was out of town. I think we was in, what, Minnesota? And he was like, he knew that I didn't know anybody there and I was just by myself. He was like, come on, come eat with us. And I think we went to a little spot to eat when we watched the football game. So, I mean, that's the main thing. He does things like that. I mean, that's uh, leadership and um, it builds a bond between each other, mm -hmm. between people when you do things like that. But Billups is just one of many influences on Lawson. From his time spent playing for NCAA juggernaut North Carolina to learning the game under George Carl, Lawson has been a student of the game since he was just a boy. And this summer, he studied abroad by playing professional basketball in Lithuania. The best part, just a new experience. You know, I was in Russia, uh, I went to Kazakhstan, Kazan, you know, just uh, experiencing new things. So that's probably the best part of, of being over there. And also just playing in a different type of system. And the worst part? Worst part, probably the food. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, it just didn't sit well with me. I had like bubble guts the whole time. So <laughs> that's probably the only thing I, I didn't like. What's the, uh, how different is the culture over there than it is here in the States for it's basketball, the basketball culture? Basketball, I mean, it's, it's more of a team game over there. You know, uh, they want everybody to score, everybody to touch the ball. I mean, uh, it, it's slower and also it's big, big on pick and roll. That's the only thing they run over there. So and it's way more physical. Because uh, I guess the, the refs allow you to do more, you can uh, elbow, all that, so I mean, uh, it's definitely a different type of game. And how are athletes treated differently over there than they are here? I mean, for instance, you walk into Nike town and the staff, the shoppers are all like, oh my god, there's Ty Lawson. Is it that same way over there in, in stores or even restaurants? Oh, not at all. Especially like when you go to somebody else's country, like the Lithuanian, my, the Lithuanian teammates, when they went to Russia, nobody knew who they were or that they even played basketball. The only reason they would probably know is they're taller. Like, over here, it's more like 
more iconic, iconic over here, you know. Uh, for um, like say if LeBron or it's me or somebody else going to the store, everybody's gonna know who you are. Mm -hmm. But over there, it's not the case. Not as much fun. Nah. <laughs> Does that get annoying sometimes ever? Just like the celebrity of being a professional athlete, you know, what are what are what is kind of the best part and, and then some of the worst parts of that? Uh, just I'd probably say you can't the worst part I'd say is you can't really go out and do what you want to do sometimes. Uh, you know, fans come up. I mean, I love the fans, but say you want to just be off to the side by yourself, I mean, sometimes you can't be able to do that. And other times, the best things are, I mean, you might get stuff for free. Walks over <laughs> here, everybody's like, hey, you want this? I'm like, cool. But also just, you know, um, I, I like it. I just play basketball and just, just enjoying my time here because you only got like 10 to 12 years to do this, so just enjoy it. Refreshed from a summer spent in foreign lands, poised and ready to bring the Nuggets back to the NBA playoffs, Ty Lawson embraces the challenges that lie ahead. Look for Lawson and the Nuggets all season long right here on Altitude. Next up, Chris Bianchi chats with Broncos tight end Daniel Fells. Keep it right here on Mile High Sports TV.